My name's uh, Marjit Page. I'm a Christian and I'm an Aboriginal uh, man from uh, Mount Isa region from the Kalkadu Wanyang Young Leader tribes of Northwest Queensland. So at the moment I'm a GP registrar, um, uh, completing my uh, Bakram uh, fellowship, so that's with the Rural Generals. Um, so yeah, currently I'm a GP registrar uh, doing my GP term. So I went to school at uh, Mount Isa. I'm uh, from Mount Isa, born and bred. So. I uh, went to two different primary schools in, uh, in uh, Mount Isa and then I went to uh, Mount Isa High School and also Catholic High School in Mount Isa. In amongst that I also went to uh, a couple of boarding schools. So I went to, uh, I was billeted out in Townsville uh, at a, uh, a Townsville State High School. That was in grade nine, half of, grade nine and half of grade 10. Um, and then I also went to Nudgee College uh, for grade 11 and half of grade 12, but then I finished again here at Mount Isa High School. Apparently, I always wanted to become a doctor. Um, that was uh, information from my elders uh, when I was younger. Um, apparently, I always wanted to go into that field because I saw a lot of uh, my uh, uh, loved ones becoming sick. The first time I remembered, I don't remember, I wanted to become a doctor, but I wanted to help my people and health was when uh, is, I was in late primary school when you know, you see a lot of your elders and your aunties and uncles and cousins go into hospital and they don't come out or if they, can't, if, or if they do come out, they don't come out in a, in, in a great state. So I always wanted help in some way, shape or form. At the beginning, um, no, but I did um, have one Aboriginal doctor uh, who took me under his wing. His name is Dr. Lewis Peachy. Uh, he took me under his wing probably in, when I was probably in medical school, probably in third year. Um, so he was probably my main, yeah, my main mentor in general. Um, I didn't have too many mentors, uh, but yeah, he was definitely one of them and an uh, inspiration. Uh, the first year was difficult. Um, I think just because you're so different. Uh, again, I was an Aboriginal boy born and bred here in Mount Isa. Uh, I thought I was going to be a famous basketballer. Um, obviously, that didn't work out for, for so many reasons. So I didn't have too many backup plans. Um, I only had one dream, and so I didn't have many. So I didn't... When I went to school, I, I did okay, but I didn't excel as much as I could have, um, but I still did good enough, um, obviously, to get into university and etc. cetera. Um, so the first year was difficult, uh, but after that, once I started getting rhythm, um, yeah, it, it, it started becoming fun and I really enjoyed it. Oh, gee, it's so, so diverse. Um, that's a, oh, look, it, it goes down. To, I guess you start chronic disease. Um, diabetes uh, is probably the biggest issue at the moment. Um, but then, you know, you got obesity is becoming, you know, a, a big issue, I, I guess, all around Australia, but especially also for us uh, Indigenous mob here. Um, you know, infections um, from, you know, your normal viral infections, your cough and cold to sexual transmitted infections. Everything is becoming a, a little bit more serious, I feel. so. I mean, it's so diverse, and, and, and being an Indigenous doctor in an Indigenous community um, is it's, it's, it's so high risk, um, and, 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 our, and our people need so much help. The simple answer is different. Um, you know, it goes from, you know, it's, it's like this. You've got a kid who is being raised in, a, say, an a, a Asian family, and then you say, well, why don't you just take that kid and put him into um, an Aboriginal family or, or a non-Indigenous family? Or It's different. Everything's different from, from the house. The house looks different from the grass and the trees, and the, uh, uh, so from the agriculture to, to even the, the doorbell. Walking in, some people can have shoes. Asian people, you shouldn't have shoes. Um, the fridge is going to be different. The food, it's just just everything is different. So I think if you put it in that perspective, um, you can understand why, for example, Indigenous people uh, will have so much trouble in a Western society health system. Um, and I think, look, another way I could teach that is, you know, we always talk about Aboriginal culture, culture, and and. But it's more than a culture. I mean, a lot of, for our, a lot of Aboriginal people, it's, it's being ab Aboriginality is actually a religion. Um, so, you know, it's, it's really panentheism, which means um, it's spirituality with theistic approaches. So pretty much Buddhism and Islam, for example, you have to do certain things for their gods to be happy. Um, and that's very similar for Aboriginal people too, but there's a big spiritual approach to it. So I guess another example is if you have a Jehovah Witness and they're bleeding a lot um, and they need blood, would you give them blood? 
No, you wouldn't because that means their life isn't worth living and why would you do that? So if you put that in perspective for Aboriginal people and Aboriginal religion, why would you want Aboriginal people to be put into a religion, into say the mainstream health system whereby no ideas or, or, or beliefs actually come together, they all collide. Um, it becomes pretty messy and I think that's why Indigenous health is, is so messy at this stage. Oh look, if you want to do it, give it a go. Um, that's what it's about really, isn't it? Um, all of us are going to be good at something and sometimes, you know, if you don't get by, it doesn't mean you're a failure. It just means that that wasn't, you know, the right time for you um, or maybe not the right profession. But I'm all about, you know, if you got it in your heart and you got it in your mind and you really want to make a difference, um, just give it a go. There's enough of us now um, to be around, to, to help mentor, um, like I had a great mentor with Dr. Peachy. There's enough of us guys now to really help the next generation go through because they're needed. You know, our people need Indigenous people in the workforce, but especially, obviously I'm biased, but especially doctors.